Yo, what up guys, it's Punk, and in this video, I want to talk about defending against Odin and how some of us may have been doing it wrong all this time. So, I want you guys to take a look at these two clips right here. Notice how with Odin, I'm actually doing more damage to Fujitora while he's on his treasure versus when he's off of it. Odin does 50% more damage to defenders on their treasure, but Fujitora should have 80% damage reduction. So why is he taking more damage on it? Well, let's keep looking at the clips. So in the first clip, Fuji has 30% damage reduction from being on his treasure and 50% um, from being above 70% HP. So that's 80% damage reduction. Odin comes and does 50% more damage to him since he's on his treasure. Um, so 80 versus 50, that pretty much cancels out to Fuji having 30% damage reduction in this case. Okay. In the second clip, Fuji isn't on his treasure. So this time he only gets 50% damage reduction from being above 70% HP. Odin comes but, since Fuji isn't on his treasure, Odin, Odin has no damage bonus. So it's just 50% damage reduction from Fuji versus 30% from the first clip. So, it might sound a little confusing, but it's simply based on the scenario. These traits require the defender being on his treasure. 30% versus 50%, who's getting more out of it? Odin is. So, for most defenders, when you do this, Pretty much you're just saying, here's plus 20% damage for you, Odin. So I recommend being off the treasure when Odin comes in. There's a good chance he'll try to skill you off the bat. And at least if you don't dodge it, you won't be punished as much. Um, and if he tries capping, most defenders, most defenders have a knockback skill to knock him off or a skill that can reach from outside the treasure. But after those, yeah, if he's still alive, you might just want to fight him there so he doesn't get the easy cap. But, yeah guys, that's it for this video. Maybe you already knew this, maybe you didn't. But thanks anyways for watching, and see you guys next time. Peace!